Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about force. In science, a force is simply a push or a pull. All forces have both size and direction. Here are some examples. It may be as simple as pushing a key on a calculator. It could be the force of hitting a golf ball or the force of a horse pulling a wagon. Scientists express force in a measurement called a Newton. A Newton is the force required to accelerate an object with a mass of one kilogram, one meter per second, per second. However, just because a force acts on an object doesn't mean that motion will occur. For example, when you sit in a chair, you have an equal force between the gravity pushing down and the chair pushing up on you. The net force of an object is the combination of all of the forces acting on an object. But how do you determine the net force? The answer depends on the direction of the force. For example, look at this heavy machinery trying to push the snow. The force of all four wheels plus the machinery is all working in the same direction to push the snow. However, with this simple tug of war, you have forces working in opposite directions, so they will cancel one another out. When the forces on an object produce a net force of zero, the forces are balanced. Balanced forces will not cause a change in motion of a moving object. For example, we'll go back to sitting in the chair. The forces are balanced and you do not fall to the ground. An unbalanced force produces a change in motion, such as a change in speed or a change in direction. For example, when you strike this golf ball, you have an unbalanced force. Or when the foot strikes this soccer ball, the force of the foot is greater than the force of the soccer ball, and it causes it to move. So there we go. Force, simply a push or pull of an object. It can be balanced or unbalanced. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.